if you are a designer moving from print to the web for the first time or even um, having already tried this probably, you are probably uh, very interested in some good news about how all those awesome design skills you spent uh, two decades learning can nicely translate over and uh, get you ahead of the curve because in reality it kind of feels like if you've been in the industry for a long time, which so many of the people that I talk to have, it does feel like you ought to be able to step in ahead of the curve and not feel like you're um, you know, entering something as a total newbie. And so I think I actually have some good news for you. Um, but I do encourage you to have an open mind because opening your mind up to some, some fresh ideas and perspectives and twists on old topics can be really critical to helping you carry those skills forward and uh, really get you that momentum you're looking for. So remember all those principles we learned in school, right, in the first year of art school, things like balance and contrast and emphasis? Well, it shouldn't be any surprise they all apply to the web every bit as much as they do to print. And as a designer, you know how to make things look beautiful. You know how to control the focus of a design, how to communicate information, and how to create a positive experience for the individual making use of the actual design. These are tremendously powerful assets working for you. It takes a long time to um, wrangle those basic elements into control. And it's definitely something we want to want to hang on to. So one thing I, I kind of frequently find when moving or when helping people move from print to web is that uh, sort of in the midst of this transition, they somehow revert and uh, seem to forget all these things. It's like they just throw it all out the window. And yes, it can be distracting, overwhelming, and completely intimidating when it comes to the technical needs of building for the web. But if we somehow disregard all this stuff only to design what we know we can actually do and produce ugly designs, so it's still ugly. So it doesn't matter if we can code it. Ugly is still ugly. And um, I encounter that quite a bit with students in particular who haven't worked as long, where they just like throw everything out the window and make a horrible uh, design because they don't, they're so intimidated by the technical problems. So we just have to think a little creatively about how they apply to the medium, and that's really kind of the goal 